Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Dr David Brazier, the president of the International Zen Therapy Institute and Dharma Vija of the Amida Order of Pure Land Buddhism. Well, presiding officer, uh, members of the parliament, thank you very much for inviting me. Near to the end of his life, the Buddha was living in a country called Magadha in northern India. At that time, he was approached by a politician called Vasakara, who was asking for advice. Vasakara's overlord, the king of Magadha, wanted to invade a neighboring country and bring it under his rule. And the politician asked the Buddha how easy it would be for Magadha to subdue its neighbor. The Buddha didn't answer directly, but within the hearing of Vasakara, turned to his attendant, Ananda, and asked, do the people of that country have frequent meetings? And are those meetings well attended? And Ananda said, yes, sir, it is so. And the Buddha asked, do the leaders of that country meet in harmony, conduct their business in mutual respect, and part in concord? And Ananda said, yes, sir, it is so. The Buddha asked, in that country, do they respect their ancient traditions and main maintain consistency in them, in the governance of their affairs? Yes, sir, it is so. Do the people of that country have respect for their leaders? Yes, sir, they do. Do the people of that country respect and honor wise and saintly members of their own community? Yes, I have heard that they do. Do the men of that country refrain from abusing women? Yes, I have heard that they do. Do the people of that country show respect for their shrines and religious practices? Yes, I have heard that they do. The Buddha said, as long as that they remain firm in these practices, the people of that country will be very hard to subdue. Their strength will increase and not decline. Vasakara thanked the Buddha and departed intending to advise his king not to attack the neighboring country directly, but to seek other means. Let me summarize again what the Buddha praised. Frequent assembly, mutual respect among leaders, maintenance of tradition, respect for leaders, reverence to wise and saintly people, Protection of women, and I think we can transpose this into modern terms to mean protection of all who are vulnerable as women were in those days, and respect for all religions. After Vasakara had gone, the Buddha went on talking to Ananda and listed many other factors that contribute to the strength of countries and communities. These, however, are surely sufficient for today. Thank you very much. Thank you.